All right, our next segment is sponsored by AT&T Business. AT&T helps your company sense and adapt to change as it happens. Now, in 2017 alone, an estimated 1.66 billion people worldwide purchased goods online, but it's no time for retailers to get lazy. In fact, you could be left behind if you don't continue to innovate because internet savvy buyers are looking for more engaging ways to shop their favorite brands. Joining us now is Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, great to have you here with us today. Consumer, uh, good morning, yes. Consumer confidence, it's as high as our energy this morning, but for stores who don't have a great online retail experience, how much revenue or sales are they missing out on right now? Well, they're missing out on a huge amount. I mean, one of the reasons that Amazon has, the stock itself has done so well, it keeps hitting these amazing numbers. It's over $1,700 a share it ran up to last week. The, one of the reasons Amazon is so successful is because of the convenience of buying things online. And you have all these brick and mortar stores. They they have such high overhead. And, and although you can sell a lot when you get a person in the store and they're there longer than maybe they are surfing on the net, it's the idea that Amazon has capitalized so well on that that they're forcing the competition now to go and sell more items online. And free shipping is just not good enough anymore. They were doing the free shipping to try to get people, but it's not good enough. And Melissa, what do you think is the key to a great online experience, a differentiated experience for a consumer? Well, Walmart just came out with this thing, or they're going to be coming out with this thing. They're rolling it out where they're going to do a 3D online experience, which kind of sounds cool, where you can go in and see what a room looks like, your apartment or a room in your home, and buy the whole look. And you can put the items in your shopping cart, a sofa, a coffee table, some little decorative items, and then see what it looks like online, like a 3D dimensional thing. They, they're going to run it, run it out, I think, later this year. That's the kind of thing that would engage shoppers online to stay on the site. Because that's the key. Again, you want to surf the site and look around and look around, and eventually the concept is that you'll buy. So that's kind of exciting. Walmart's doing that, and they're doing one other thing, too. They're looking into maybe delivering groceries to your home, which you would order online. So that's going to be exciting as well. And then how can retailers bring a great online experience into the store for a seamless shopping integration there? Well, I think one idea would be if they had maybe touch screens, you know, like this in the store itself to make it more interactive. Again, it's the idea of engaging the consumer, getting them to spend time wherever it is, whether it's online or in the store. And so if they had touch screens, just like we're talking about where they could put in and see what all the items look like together in a grouping in a set online even that would be helpful or even something like that with clothing uh, or even hair products i mean i you know i'm just thinking outside of the box here but that's kind of the way that they have to do it they're going to have to find a way to engage people more and social media is is good for that getting people to come maybe texting them or saying there's a special offer come into the store today 24 hours things like that to get people more engaged you mentioned things like touch screens and shoppings are now sort of not just demanding but expecting more engaging virtual experiences. Yeah. So how can retailers use this new technology to entice customers to visit their website without sort of being overwhelming to the consumer? Well, I don't think it's really overwhelming. I think it's fun. I mean, maybe for, for some people who aren't used to it, but I definitely think it's the wave of the future. You, you have so many people that are competing now against Amazon. You have Walmart. You have Target. Kohl's. A lot of these stocks look pretty good so far this year, considering usually they're in the red till it gets into Black Friday. But as you mentioned earlier, consumer confidence is high. So people want to spend. The sooner that they can start engaging people, the better. And summer typically is a lower end time. People don't necessarily go out and spend a lot of money. In the summer, they're away. They're on vacation. So they're not buying a lot of clothing, shoes, things like that, furniture in the summer times. So they've got to find ways to get people engaged. Social media is a good way to interactive stuff. I don't think it's scary to people. I think people just aren't used to it, but I think it's definitely the wave of the future. Uh, is there a way that companies can plan for this going into the times where some of that back, back to school shopping is going to take place? That's a great idea. And you know what? They should do something with the kids. That's a great idea right there. Get the kids interacted. Because if you had take the kids with you, go into, into the stores like Target and the kids are involved. Sometimes parents go in and they're taking their kids shopping and they can't get the shopping done. And so it's such it's inconvenient. So parents are, are ordering stuff online because it's inconvenient to take them into the store because the kids, they got to watch the kids. So if the kids had something to do in the store, like interactive on these touch screens, I definitely think parents would enjoy that a lot more. Absolutely. All right. Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Have a great day.
great day. You too. And if your company is starting to explore the use of IoT as a means to connect